All right, so we did this last class. We're not going to spend a lot of time on it. We'll start off with our jab triplets to warm up, right? So you're in whichever lead you want to be. You can be unmatched leads too, right? If you want, you can also try to drink this way. Uh, it makes it a little different. He jabs, and I'm going to have to lead hand block and then turn jab and catch you. You can do it that way. We'll go, we'll go mirror, mirror that. I mean, match leads for now. So Brian comes in. I'm going to shift back and catch. I'm going to shift back in and jab and catch, right? So focus on the idea when you're using the gloves. When you're actually wearing gloves, is to target each other. So I'm trying to target Brian's forehead to be nice, but I'm at least trying to touch his face or his forehead as opposed to punching out to where the focus pads would be, right? So part of this drill is getting a chance to actually go directly to your partner's face and get used to seeing the punches coming at you and dealing with them. I know we did it last week. I don't want to spend any more time than that. Uh, jab triplets back and forth. All right. Do about one minute and one lead, and then we'll switch leads. <laughs> All right, and begin. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to add in the cross, yeah. like we did last time, right? So Brian jabs. I'm going to jab, and he's going to jab cross. So I can double catch. I can catch and parry. Right? I can catch and slip. I can catch and backhand gunt. <laughs> I can catch and I can do obstruction. I don't really care how you deal with it. You can catch and shoulder roll, deal with the cross any way that feels comfortable to you, all right? The, the main thing being that, I don't know if you, you got, is that I'm trying to touch him and he's trying not to get touched on that shot, all right? The tendency, we all do it, is to do something like this where I just like, I automatically miss him. So try to touch with that cross, right? That being said, also don't trace. I know he's gonna do something, right? So if he starts to slip outside, or something, don't, don't chase him. <laughs> Throw your punch committed and let him deal with it, right? Okay, so just add him across and jab to the lead hook instead of following the cross. So okay. I jab, she jabs, I'm gonna jab and then lead hook. Okay, as opposed to the cross. So she jabs, I jab, she jabs, lead hook so I can cover, right? I can jab to lead hook, okay. I can bob and weave, I can shift back, okay? I can. Uh, I can see it with shoulder stop, different things that you want to try working off the lead hook. All right, so jab, catch, jab, lead hook. She jabs, catch, she jabs, she lead hooks. All right? All right. All right. Warm it up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, so now it's going to get a little bit more difficult. So I initiate with the jab. She jabs. I'm going to jab, and then it's my choice whether I come in with the lead hook or I come in with the cross. All right, so you don't know which one's coming. It's only two options that are coming. It gives a little bit more variable, variables, and there's a good chance you're going to get tagged sometimes. All right, she goes. Jab, catch, jab. jab. So this way you don't, you can't anticipate because you don't know which one's coming. All right, so you may have to tone it down a little bit. Make sure your partner is having some success before you start ramping it up. All right, and don't don't fake your partner. There's no, there's none of this. So I, I don't jab, jab, and then jab it. Uh, that's that's not part of the drill. <laughs> yeah, right. Your only options are jab, lead hook, or jab to cross on high high line only. Okay. All right. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 yeah, it works. We're going to have more than it helps. Yeah, I like more of that. I'm going to do one more. No, right now. Since you guys are already doing it. Since you're already doing it, at least some of you. Nisha. I <laughs> make the uh the third part of the triple will be free. Right? So you can throw any technique as the third part of the triple. Wait, third or fourth? 
Well, a four star. So if I start right now, I jab, and then from here I'm free. Once I've done that, so I can throw the cross, I can throw the low cross, right? I can throw the lead hook, I can throw the rear hook if the need for one next thing. I can throw it to the body. I can even double jab, right? Jab the lead hook. So you have a little, or you can even jab yeah, to other cut, right? You play around a little bit. But because you're going to be free on that last technique, respect your, your partner and don't overwhelm them. And make sure you have control of your technique because they may not block it. Right? If I go jab to uppercut and I really blast it, it's just a block it. That's not fair. So I do a nice controlled uppercut and I know I can stop if she's going right. So this is just training. This is not combat. I'm just trying to get used to the freedom. So maintenance, super maintenance was pointing out the idea that this drill is really good at getting you used to sparring because you become used to gloves coming at your face, right? And you're doing it in a somewhat comfortable setting. Because once you're free sparring, it's, it's stopped being comfortable for most of us. So we thriving. All right, so you got the idea. So she starts, she jabs, I jab, she jabs, now she's free. She can do whatever she wants, and I've got to deal with it. If she hits me, she hits me. That's fine. Okay? Yeah, we're good? All right, be nice to each other. <laughs> Should be three jabs and then a free strike. One jab, two jabs, three jabs, and a free, a free strike. Yeah, nice. So Fred, if you start, you do the free strike. I know. You said you're going to do it. So Fred, if you start, you jab, Sarah catches, right? And she jabs back, then you're going to jab and throw the free strike. There should be three jabs in each round. One jab, three back. <laughs> one jab, two jabs, three jabs, and then follow up or be one after the third one. Okay. There we go. All right, switch leads. <laughs> Switch leads. We need a 10 second switch breath. Oh, we're going to see it. 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 Uh, <laughs> yeah, you really got one. Thirty seconds. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's a <great> <laughs> 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 Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>